Following thus abruptly, we changed this show to something more aptly. Runners, you see, are a perfect sociological model, an experiment or an example of all attire and whatever might be thus the winner. However much I disconnect the resonance of having too much or too little, it thus, for some, does not occur to them to not really worry too much about losing in the long run. Why, I would not want to disappoint you all, because some of you have such ways that it makes sense to follow along with. And for those of no rules or others, somehow the deception seems to please both sides. But who cares, honestly? It is like a derived function to which only some really notice how much it hurts us inside of us to really be on the way and to with such ignorance to never mind how much or wherefore the differences are all evening out. And as such, the end cometh too soon or too far ahead. But nonetheless, advisory for runners. Advising you how to run. And so, having been so intelligent, as to defend yourself for no other reason than not being able to deny your own strength. So the measure to show how far you would go, how much you would do to the world had it been such a one organism, to which to effect one's own end. For without such reason, to appease one's ignorance, to thus state quite clearly that, to continue on as though nothing had happened, as though you had no more to eat, even as such, when you realize you cannot eat that much, it becomes a fallacy to with which I am sure you would not state that it meaneth so much to you that you would thus offer yourself in ability to respond to such a measure of differences that are everywhere the same attitude. Let me tell you how it thus seems to be when thus everyone is on backup, everyone is waiting, because no one would really dare to assume such insults placed upon those who in differences of their equality to nature would pose to input or <clears throat> thus inkling on the feeling of something that is other or not. So 
What would it be had it been such a thing? A thing as such to be able to... To present nature for it, for its cause. Not to defend or destroy. But in great quietude with no promotion. Great is the water that flows. Though none really ignore it, and most find pleasure in not needing to seek it, it is, after all, presented before you. But for those who retire early or late, nature's cars will find a place to fit you in nicely. You see, you need not be stupid or smart to be able to define with which is the art. And thus on either side presented, what a great moment of joy in life to have been able to have been left or right, right or left, long before any mistakes are made in our character, in our hopes, even though our bounds are stretched, we seek more to be than just the air, more than just a figure of complacent feelings, adject. And so, all our efforts thus amounted. What for the sun, you say? What for to be in motion? Someday someone will come up to you and say, Sir, will you be on the left side or the right side? And I ask in question, how would thou know about the end? For thou art not a woman or my mistress, and even had I had one or not, why would I pose so much work and stress to show the tension in daily life not to become isolated, put into compartments, Thus we must ignore and have much more. Thus for motion, thus for show. Please come along. Please go to the place to with which in the screen forwards ahead no one is their place to wait. For thou would not change it thus as to make it in a waitance of for I be not in your company, and neither need you but otherwise be. As such, becoming to the longing of others, thus not so high, and climbing thus greater. For it would thus give away too much, and I have already been my own to state quite easily. Now, why would not the water be warmer? Thus, for no reason to ignore, but to breathe calmer, calmer. Thus along we go so smoothly to places we know quite rudely. Nevertheless, it thus thou seem for each one to enjoy their existence, so too not to await. The ocean is great.